Hi, I have decided I'm going to start doing a series of videos that are pretty much Noelle's mind dumps. Uh, these are thoughts that I have in the shower, thoughts that I have when I'm driving or when I'm just hanging out waiting for Chloe to fall asleep for her nap. Uh, and this was the first thing that was on my mind today um, while I was driving to Jiu Jitsu. And so uh, I was just kind of thinking about my journey this year as I go through a mentorship program and I'm really focused on personal development. And I I get this a lot. It's just, I really wanted to kind of share my thoughts on this. So bear with me as I talk through my thoughts. But um, so I think about there's a lot of people who have been in personal development stages of life. But if you even if you're consuming all this knowledge and all this information, if you still don't have what you want, you're not doing what you want, uh, what you want to do, you're not in the relationship that you want, you don't have the financial situation you want, the physical body you want, the spiritual life you want. If there's something that you want that you do not have, then you're probably making an excuse as to why you're not going to get it. You're confusing consumption with application. Now, when I think about confusing consumption with application, I find it very interesting that as a nutrition coach, I get a lot of other nutrition coaches and nutritionists that want to work with me, uh, which is, it just blows my mind because I'm like, well, you don't you do the same thing that I do? Why are you coming to me um, if you are already a nutrition coach? And what I find is that we can absorb all of the knowledge in the world um, from all different types of uh, certifications, educational backgrounds, everything. But at the end of the day, if we cannot apply what we're learning, you will never get the results that you want. And so the when I ask this question is, are you willing to define what it takes to get the result? Or are you going to lean into the reasons over the result? So this, this phrase kind of just blew my mind. It was like, are we going to focus on our reasons or are we going to focus on our results? Because everybody has reasons. We all have reasons not to do something, but instead to think about what are your reasons to do something. Um, so a couple key points here I want you to think about is very clearly define what it's going to take to get the result that you want. That's step number one. Like if there's a certain term that you don't know how to define, look it up and get very, very clear about what it's going to take to get what you want. Then put it on your calendar. You have got to make the time. The time's not just going to happen and then you just happen to show up when you can. It has to be on your calendar. If I were to pull up somebody's Google Calendar right now and they don't have the gym or uh, their kid's nap schedule or um, whatever, like family time on the calendar, it's probably never going to happen. And so this is one thing that I practice every day is if it's on my calendar, it's going to get done. If it doesn't get done, I at least did what it took to make it happen. And if it didn't happen, that was out of my control. The last thing is do what you say you're going to do. This is the definition of integrity. If you do not do what you say you're going to do, people are not going to respect you. And so having integrity means that if you say you're going to do something, that is your word. So if you break your word, people are not going to trust your word when you say it. So why should anybody trust you if you don't trust yourself to do what you say you're going to do? So these are just things that it's just this pretty broad mind dump, but take it at face value with applying it to whatever aspect of your life you feel like you're just not getting the results that you want. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk.